Hey folks, so welcome back. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a little easier way to make some of these wooden pulleys. If you've seen my other video showing the, the wooden pulleys, you know, I can make them with that floating router, but not everybody has a floating router. So what I did was is to come up with a little easier way to make some of these wooden pulleys because I got a pretty neat project uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys in the near future. So if you haven't subscribed, you should sub in now because this is going to be a neat little project and uh, I'm sure that you'd uh, at least get a chuckle out of what I'm going to make out of these little wooden pulleys. So I've got one here made and uh, the process seems to be pretty easy. It only takes a few minutes so what I'm going to do is make another one here and uh, and show you the little jig that I made to do it. So anybody knows how to cut a circle on a router table you know you just have to drill a hole in the center put a straight cutter in and then just keep turning it raising the bit a little bit until it cuts the circle but cutting this part is uh, was always a challenge for me but I, I made a little jig here to be able to do it and it worked really nice it made a nice groove and the belt fits in there just beautifully so uh, I can really see this working so without talking anymore I'll cut this circle out and then we'll curve this nice little groove in here for the belt to fit in so I've got a pair of safety glasses around here somewhere, but I don't seem to be able to see them right at this moment. Here they are. Okay, so I just got to plug in my router here. And we'll, I just got to lower this bit a little bit. So now I'll start up the router. Probably one of the dirtiest jobs I've ever done right there. I think if I'm going to make a few of these, I'm going to definitely hook up the dust collector on them. So there, so there's my my blank now. So now all I have to do is lower this bit down in the table. I'm just going to use the same bit to, to plow the groove. It's a rounded over bit. It's kind of got a, it's just a cove bit. Dusty stuff. Usually I can hook dust collection up and I get I guess I should have. Because I was getting that right in the brunt. I was standing in the worst spot too, so you guys can get a view of this with the cam. So now I'll just bring my jig over 
and I've got marks on my table here that I go by and I'm just going to put the screws right back in the same hole there so you can see all this is I'll try to get you a good view of this it's just a uh, it's just a couple of uh, of pieces of melamine <coughs> screwed together and a bolt going through and then what I'll do is I'll put my blank in there put the bolt through it and then I'll just keep raising the bit and keep turning it and then it'll plow that nice little slot in the top so we'll just put the, the camera up here somewhere like yay try to get it standing up there so now I just gotta loosen this bolt off take it out slide my blank in like this find the hole here Oh, I'm going to lower my bit now a little bit more. There. So now I put my bolt through. And there, now I'm ready to do that bit of routering now. So I'll start my router up and we'll router this now. set my depth stop and I'm going to put both pulleys in. I need about four of them the exact same size so I'll put them all in uh, this jig and I'll set my depth stop then I'll redo them all. Just It'll just take a second. This is just to show you how they turn it. So just grab the belt and you can see the belt fits in them just nice. So there we go. So there's a little easier way to make some wooden pulleys. So now I gotta, and I'm gonna gear this up too to make some smaller ones so, because I want some big ones and I want some small ones. So keep tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.